Continuing to fill questions for U.S. Similia, I was soon asking from within our Telegram group, is Anki worth it for obtaining information long term? Would love to hear your take on the best use of Anki for boards prep, etc. I have made numerous fucking clips here on my YouTube talking about Anki, but I don't carry the entitlement that people are going to go back through someone's YouTube in 2022. I have the responsibility to make uh, new clips, updated uh, clips here, but I will answer the same dumb questions repeatedly as a result. So my view on Anki, and I have a very solid answer here, but I will be a quick asshole first and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and give the video a like. I really appreciate it. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now let's get back to the clip here about Anki, which is uh, do I have any uh, tips or tricks, any advice on it for boards prep? In general, okay, as an over, as an overarching umbrella statement for most students most of the time, Anki is a big waste of your fucking time, okay? And the reason is because most students tend to get bogged down in their Anki decks with an OCD nature at the expense of the NBME content, which I've harped on slash inculcated to the point of exhaustion, you need to have assiduously memorized prior to your US simile. There's no problem with doing Anki insofar as you get through all the NBME content, okay? There's no problem if that's the case. But I don't want it to be where you say, oh, I'm not going to have time to finish UWorld and finish all of the NBMEs because I'm doing Anki, okay? Recognize that your score augmentation, step one's pass fail, but your score augmentation, getting you to the pass level at a minimum, and then for step two, of course, is going to be based on getting you through raw questions, QBank, and NBMEs. It's quantity over quality. Okay. So Anki feels good sometimes. You feel like you're learning information, but I don't want it to come at the expense of all the questions. I don't want it to be where you're going to sit your fucking comp CBSC or actual NBME exam and you've gone through Anki, but you only did 60% of UWorld and you only did a few of the NBME exams. Okay. It's a bad fucking idea. When I talk about the use of Anki, it comes down to screenshotting your incorrects from the NBME exams into the front card of an Anki, and then the back card is just the letter. I don't want you write of the correct answer. I don't want you writing explanations. You're not going to have time to review. I've made plenty of clips talking about how to review the NBME content, but for we talk about the Clinical Master Series for 2CK, NBMEs 6 through 12 and free 120, it's 2CK. And then step one, of course, we've got NBMEs 20 through 30, 25, 30 online, but I want you going through uh, 20 through 30 in addition to free 120. I want you screenshotting all your incorrects into Anki. Okay, you're going to make one giant deck of all your incorrects. I don't want you making separate decks for each NBME exam. I want you, let's say, screenshotting all the incorrects from 20. You're going to review those. You're going to, the, the following couple days, you're going to go through NBME 21. You're going to screenshot all those into the same deck, and you're going to study ahead. So you're going to review the incorrects from 20 and 21. And then we let's fast forward. We go to NBME 24. After you finish reviewing all those incorrects, you're going to study ahead. Once again, you're going to study 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. If you're only getting 15 wrong per form, it's not a big deal. If you're getting 80 wrong per form, you're going to be sitting in your room going through hundreds upon hundreds of incorrects daily. I want you memorizing the questions. Okay, I've had students who've gone into their uh, USMLEs where uh, I'll meet them for a Skype session. They they'll tell me, yeah, I went through over 600 NBME questions yesterday. That's what I want you doing is memorizing the NBME questions. I don't give a fuck if you feel as though your retention of the question or understanding of it is cursory at best. I want you just blitzing the questions so that all of that info is in your pre-conscious state. So when you get into the real deal, your gut instincts are intact. And even if you don't know an answer, you just say, I feel like this is B, no fucking idea why. Maybe I saw a similar one on NBME 27 uh, because you memorized the forms well. And I'm just going to go with uh, that answer. You know the deal. Make, team, make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.